Hello, hello, everybody. Today, we are going to be talking about something that I think is quite a serious issue in World of Warships Legends, and that has to do with the dispersion of your shells. Quite frankly, I don't think this would really matter or apply to the majority of cruisers out there, but we will. But we will be testing it on another ship a little bit later. It was recently brought to my attention that there could be a massive problem with the way this game works. I myself have discovered this bug or glitch, whatever you have you, whatever you call this, quite a long time ago. And here's what I kind of thought. Every month or every two months, I would have one of these battleships you see here would be the most accurate that I had. Something got changed in the game a long time ago because the Iowa used to be the most accurate ship in the entire battleship row, if you will. It was, by, by and large, was the most accurate. As you can see, still my most played ship to this day because that's the only thing I played because I like playing battleships and this did the job. 1,650 battles on this one ship. But I remember it was Monday morning after an update. The Iowa has never been the same since. From that point on, it's always had kind of a bad dispersion. So that's when I decided to go ahead and spin the Global XP and buy the Alabama. And this thing was the most accurate from that point on for about six months, eight months, something like that. This was the one to play. And then the Georgia came out. And Georgia wasn't that accurate. It was kind of fun to play, but it wasn't that accurate. And then one day after an update, the Alabama stopped being so accurate. It was again a Monday morning. So in my brain, I'm thinking, okay, something is going wrong in these updates. I talked to the people at Wargaming and they said, nothing's changed on the Iowa. Nothing's changed on the Alabama. And I'm sitting there going, bullshit. I know something has changed because I play the damn thing every day. And then there was a two-month stretch where the Georgia took over the most accurate. And I'm talking it would dev strike stuff almost every time I got a good look, a perfect shot. This thing was so consistent. Fast forward to today, it's not anymore. But ever since then, it has jumped around which battleship is the most accurate, whether it's Alabama or Massachusetts or Georgia. I'm excluding Kansas from this because... It has a lot more shells. I know Georgia has less. I don't have enough experience in this thing to really tell you one way or the other. But that was my experience. I noticed this very early on. Now let's cut to the entire point of this video. Someone came to me in a live stream, and quite frankly, I don't want to reveal who it is, but trust me, this group of people is someone that you need to listen to. They know what they're talking about. They showed me a way to reset my commander to the boat and it massively improves the accuracy of the dispersion on this particular boat. Since everyone has just recently got Musashi, seems like the whole world has it, I'm going to show you the very first game from whenever I put this perk on. Then I'm going to show you a Richelieu game which came before the Musashi game where I took the dispersion down. I should have been making it less accurate, and I wound up making it significantly more accurate, like actually playable accurate. And then, after all that, we're going to test it right now, very first game. I cannot stand the Stalingrad, the Stalingrad pisses me off, and we're going to reset it and see what happens. He said try it on Musashi, said he was shooting laser beams. Not gonna lie, I've never picked a different commander. Te technically, George, but they say they've been doing it since year one of the game. And they say specifically inspirations. But we shall find out right now. No. That didn't work for me. Yeah, blunderbuss is a good way of putting it. See, that's with a plane up, and that's fucking- that's laser beams with a plane up. Gonna go over some stupid shit. Okay. Come on, front guns, get around. That's gonna completely miss. Sick. That mostly cleared. Will it be enough? Oh my god, please. I hate this game. Smack him! 
Yes! I like Kleber players that know what the fuck they're doing. No! See, they all fired at the same second. You see that? And look at them. That's without a plane. One, because they kind of shot too high, but... To me, five is low. Anything below five doesn't even register on the helpless scale. I don't know, that's actually not that bad after I popped a plane. They've been fairly consistent. I don't even know what to make of that. We could definitely just kill him, like, fuck it, I'm going for it. Going for the big hit or death, one or the other. There it is. Ten K. What's this backing us up? A GK? Gypsy Danger? Pacific Rim fan? Great movie. Smack the tits off of him. That's a little bit better. I would say this is right now very inconsistent laser beams. It's accurate, it's not accurate. It's accurate, it's not accurate. It's better than not accurate most of the time, I'll give it that. Uh, that actually might kill him. That's it, that's what I mean, inconsistent accuracy. Like, that's all but one shell was gonna hit. That's pretty consistently inconsistent. Which is super awesome. Um. Uh, Dakota, you remember the tornado streams, right? Oh, get fucked. He lives in Oklahoma. Black is other one. <laughs> Reddit it. Accounts for something, right? Come on. Get around this corner. He's not over-angling. He hasn't launched torps on me yet. My fronts will clear. Plane and dev strike. For the quacking. I don't know what to make of that. I think further testing must be done, but that's a spicy little bitch right there. 55 on target, 205, dev strike on command. That's something. I really don't know what to make of that, but that is something. Literally dev strike on command because the inconsistency was consistent enough that I knew when I popped the plane I was going to have disgustingly good accuracy. Without the plane, it was accurate 70% of the time. With the plane, it was accurate 100% of the time. I just don't know what to make of that. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna go here, and we're gonna play it this way. Do it again. Oh my god. <laughs> Sadness. I can't even blind fire. It's it's just so inaccurate. Oh, we got a hit. That actually looked better than when I had accuracy put on. Not even kidding. Okay, this game works as intended. Clearly. Hello? I take off my accuracy perks and I fucking dev strike somebody? Hello? Accuracy commander? Like, fucking fully spec? For what reason? Hello? Like, it's got no photo sensor. So it's just... Hello? Accuracy commander? Why do I have them? Hello? Okay, they went high. But still, they were, like, grouped. Very nicely. But you said something about Iowa... Spec Cunningham, take off Sharnhorst and put somebody else on. You said it was really accurate. Oh, what the fuck, dude? It, this is significantly accurate. More accurate. 
Felt good. Stabbed him right back, though. Very bold strategy, sir. Meet my accuracy, non-accuracy build, Richelieu. That's gonna hurt. I don't even know. You, you tell me. I'm not fucking Einstein or anything, but I can add. My old this is the best original game, game ever had. Passing you kids and please do give away oh my god, I'm not dead. Are you shitting me? I'm about to be. I'm not getting reloaded. No way. I'm dead. Okay, I want to see the results of this game. So it's buck 20, first place, double death strike, and first blood. That's wicked. We're going to investigate that build. Okay, we're going to reset the commander. Here, we're going to go there. We're going to take this off. Boost the inspiration. We're going to take this off. Boost the inspiration. Then we're going to select a completely different person. Who's nets off? Okay. Now, let's put it back on. So we're going to go to Lightful. This is Lightful, by the way. We're going to go back here. We're going to put Sharn Horse back on. We're going to go Sims. We're going to put Scott back on. So this is a full accuracy build right here. Just for the giggles, we're going to increase the accuracy even more. So this is plus 5% uh, to grouping, making the grouping better so they cluster together better. And then the dispersion is minus 5%, which hones it in even more. And we're going to put on Fear My Roar, which takes it to plus 8 and minus 8. As you can see, this commander is fully maxed out, and I'm going to tell you right now in full disclosure, the very first time I did this, I upgraded my Stalingrad to max dispersion. I have never seen accuracy like that in this entire game. I played five games straight, and on the fifth game, my accuracy went to shit. But I'm telling you right now, the first four games, it was the most incredible thing I've ever seen. And I did it off stream. I didn't record back then. So I don't have any clips and footage. I might actually have a clip of it somewhere, but I was double, triple, quadruple, dev strike. Like everything that came in front of me right then and there was toast. It was the most incredible experience I've ever had in this game. And unfortunately, I don't have anything to show you for it. But we're going to see if our dispersion is better. Well, we're back and uh, this is going to be some type of match. So cross playoff. Which one? What, who? Who did it? Was it Sticky Steve? Moon Wolf Ghost? You guys are sus. Oh, Corn Dog. It's probably Corn Dog. That's who probably did it. I'm doing cross playoff because all the PlayStation players are so bad. You just can't have a good game anymore. These, these PlayStation players. <laughs> Opening salvo. With Fear My Roar on. Pretty flat. Okay. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. It's the only reason I'm not radaring. I don't think I've got range on the guy. Those are both pretty okay. Okay. Oh yeah, it was Corn Dog that did it. No camo mino, hundred percent, hundred percent. Really? No citadels? No... Okay. Forgot it was a gearing. That's better. You're shitting me, right? You just gotta be shitting me. Just can't make that up. They're behind the fucking last rock. Hello? Why are you smoking? Uh, uh, I'm so confused. What? What? <laughs> Yeah, he's gonna throw torps in your smoke! Like... 
Торпеды прямо по курсу. Where's the Musashi? This is gearing smoke. I'll be able to get this cap for rounding this corner. Penalty? 11-7. I can actually fire from concealment here. I should be able to pin that as well. I should be able to sink him right into the citadel. Clear! One shell dead. Bruns will clear for a little bit longer though. Actually, I might be able to cheese this a little bit. Right there, maybe. Thinking like right there. Come on, fronts. Come on, fronts. Give me the front. Give me the front. I know the back's not going to clear, but I'm doing it for the dispersion. Um. Okay, it's confirmed. We owe me to say, it's confirmed. The commander trickery buggy thing is 100%. 100%. I haven't hit that many sits on a broadside target like that in a long time. Don't even know what to say. Now you've turned completely out. Why? Help him! Will to rebuild! Don't run away! Fuck, man! Simple fucking game. Simple... Ugh. These guys are both sitting flat broadside. Both of them. Still hitting five out of six there. Why are you running? God almighty! Where are you going? The game's not over! You're full fucking health! For fuck's sakes! Yeah, I was gonna back up and aid with that. They obviously don't need me to. I know it needs to be done. I'm gonna go do it. Let's see where he is. He hits me harder like that? Okay. Again, pretty good dispersion. Oh yeah, back gun won't fire right there. Ha! <laughs> forgot. I forgot it's a wargaming product. That was tight. Did make him dodge. Or I dodged his salvo, rather. Yeah, pop that super heal for daddy. Wish I could sit at all that. Oh my god, my homie back there just missed him. <laughs> Tragic! I don't even need guns anymore, brother. I am the goddamn torpedo. At least I found something I can do with, with that guy back there. I can let him live while I win the game for us, right? If that doesn't prove the bug that's in the game today, I don't know what will. If that doesn't prove it right there, I don't know what will. Because... Because I used to have games like that in Stalingrad quite often, and I don't have them anymore, and I don't play Stalingrad because of the dispersion. On top of the other weaknesses Stalingrad already has, Stalingrad has the highest sigma in the game, so you have to have accurate guns, period. I do not care what you think. You have to have accurate guns, or that boat becomes virtually useless. It has to be able to aim on target and punish mistakes, because that's all the boat can do. If you can't do that, then... You know, just let it sit in your port. But that obviously proves that there is a problem in the game. Something to do with the commander, something to do with your dispersion perks going onto the boat. And if the first couple replays didn't show you, I don't know. You guys can make up your own mind one way or the other, believe, disbelieve. All I know is that some of the best players in the game that have been playing since virtually day one have done this trick every single month after an update. Yes, it's expensive in Commander XP, but 
They've done it since literally year one. And obviously there's something to it because it made my Stalingrad actually playable. Thank you all for watching this video. Comment down below if you're going to try this. I showed how to do it. You got to reset your inspirations, move the commander to someone else. You got to pick new inspirations, move the commander to a different commander, come back to your commander, reapply those inspirations, and Bob's your uncle. It worked. Thank you for watching this video, guys. Until the next time, hopefully you have better dispersion. Peace!